Assalamualaikum. Hai keluarga Satafil. Kita kembali dengan episod Sembang Raya yang seterusnya di mana saya Lisa Surihani, duta Satafil anda dan juga host yang akan berbual dengan tetamu istimewa kita pada hari ini. Tetamu Lisa hari ini adalah seorang yang sangat... Okeylah, Lisa sendiri dah memang follow lama dah dekat Instagram. Pernah make account saya sekali. Yes! Sangat suka dengan hasil kerja dia. Sangat berbakat. She's so talented. And she's also a very, very known makeup artist. Hi, Noriana! Yeah, hi, Lisa! Hello, hi. say hi, say hi to everyone. Hi, selamat pagi, everybody. My God, nampak flawless sangat-sangat. Yeah, sangat macam tu. Serious, girl. Serious. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you Thank for you. having me. Oh, most welcome, most welcome. Okay, I have to ask you a question before we start okay um i want to know kenapa noriana the face designer what's what's the story what happened what like, happened oh, how did you how did you come up with noriana the face designer yeah. Hmm. Yeah. kelakar tu sebenarnya cerita dia okay, okay. tak tahu lah kelakar ke tak but sebenarnya <laughs> um, that name uh, tiba-tiba datang masa i uh, 20 tahun like 20 lebih lah like okay. in my 20s okay. so in 20s kan you macam nak cool cool you nak macam hype hype sikit tak nak lah macam make up artist je ah, make up artist so yeah. uh, so instead of i letak Noriana makeup artist ada taklah Noriana face designer ah right. dia macam substitute lah tu makeup artist ah, i so, see sampai sekarang lah walaupun dah umur dah 30 lebih <laughs> still not cool so macam tu lah ada dapat nama mm. Noriana the face designer i see i see so you coined that <laughs> i did i did the way back then the face designer <laughs> che okay but before we go on further i would like to also ask sekarang ni makeup artist mm mm-hmm. But you did you you read law or yeah. were you actually a lawyer or yes. what's the story? You were. I was a lawyer. Were practicing. Since, yes, I was practicing for like a year. So I studied law, I practice, and then. Um, then you jump ship. I did. Okay. Because I was like, instead of I uh, deal with people's problems. Okay. I wanted to make them happy. All right. So I was oh. like makeup. <laughs> I did it like a artist so I dapat beautifykan orang bagi orang rasa happy ah yes. so that was also like a a a macam what do you say your motivation so, your calling your my calling i feel uh, yeah faham 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 yes 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 betul so, sebab Lisa pun tengok Noriana memang banyak makeup artist ramai wanita di luar sana in fact you know Noriana was also very much known to make up Yuna many many times yes. you know one of our big 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 stars uh. i would say also macam the special thing about people who can do makeup mm-hmm. you know korean is nanya artist mm-hmm. you're an artist because you're creative yeah. you know what i mean macam you also apply karya kepada muka orang lain yes, you know what i mean uh-huh. macam okay i understand karya obviously in a different sense mm-hmm. my discipline is different yes, yes, kan yes. tapi macam untuk a makeup artist you know like macam like wow like you 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 are actually It's almost like okay, the face is a canvas, and canvas, then you're doing the the art, and then like, and literally designing your face. Sama, yeah, also oh, my back name. Of the design, yeah, <laughs> That's yes. right. <laughs> okay, Noriana. So sekarang hmm. ni kita akan borak lebih sedikit tentang kulit lah. Okay, yeah. so mm-hmm. kita ada bersama pun kerana sempena bulan kesedaran kesihatan kulit sudah fail ataupun macam healthy skin awareness month. Yeah. What we want to encourage people to do is to realize the importance of taking care of their skin. You know what I mean? Like macam they they have to make it something like their motto lah basically. Yeah. You know, like macam regimen. Yeah, also. absolutely. And also, I think it's not about primarily cantik. Yeah. I think it's more like health. Help. You know what I mean? You want your kulit to be kulit sihat. Um, yeah. Sebab, obviously, secara tak langsung, kulit sihat, kulit cantik. Yes, you betul. know what I mean? So, to you, what is kulit sihat? Ha, kulit sihat ni, okay. For me, as a makeup artist and also beauty expert lah, sebab kita memang, bila makeup, dia ada rangkaian dengan kulit, hmm. which also like, our in in words also yes. like you know it's yes. all like berkaitan dalam ah, dalam itu semua berkaitan um, yang penting kulit yang sihat adalah kulit yang dia punya tekstur tu tak kasar sangat okay. ah, so right. kadang-kadang macam kalau kita tak bersihkan kulit kita dia jadi kasar kan so kulit yang sihat selalunya tak kasar mm-hmm. dia ada hydration so fully like hydrated and moisturized mm-hmm. and also glowing berseri berseri ah, itulah right. kulit yang sihat untuk ai Mm. Mm. Yeah, and it works hand in hand when making up yeah. someone, right? Kalau kulit tu sihat, and then when you make up that person, mm. senang lah, a, a, and cantik lah. Yeah, ah. then 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 the makeup works yes. juga extra. Yes, ada wow factor tu kalau kulit tu cantik, it's because right. it's full of hydration. Uh, makeup pun senang lekat. Mm. Uh, yang kulit mm. yang bersih, kulit yang cantik ni. Betul betul. Kalau bawa sihat. Dan sebagai seorang yang 
banyak berada di depan kamera especially you know like I have to host I yeah. have to you know you know kadang-kadang kita kena buat content kita mesti nak nampak cantik dan berseri lah of course you know like we prefer that we look presentable you know so so, so bagi Lisa kita harus mengekalkan kulit yang sihat sebab itu adalah perkara yang penting kita semua mesti nak nampak cantik and on point kan so hmm. tapi malangnya tak semua orang dianugerahkan uh, dengan kulit yang sihat kulit yang cantik. So dengan regimen skincare yang betul, mm-hmm. dengan regimen uh, penjagaan kulit yang betul, uh, seseorang itu akan nampak lebih cantik lah depan kamera. Yeah. And also in real life lah, in real life. Lah. Tak payah depan kamera pun in real life itu sangat right, penting. Right, 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 right. And saya sendiri pun kalau uh, bangun dari tidur, tengok muka ada jerawat baru, dia macam panik sekejap. <laughs> Macam, oh no. Macam, oh no, like what's happening? Is my day going to be okay or not? Ah, macam yes, tu lah, faham, lebih kurang. Ah, tapi of course, kita uh, go back to our skincare routine lah. Kita try our best to fix mana-mana yang boleh. And of course, uh, pilihan uh, skincare tu yang sangat-sangat penting. Ah, right. I rasa, right. to me lah, to me lah. I feel like it's that way. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa pasti ramai kat luar sana macam, macam dah menghitung hari nak raya. You know, it's amazing how yeah. fast time passes kan yeah. bila Ramadan ni. Don't know whether to feel sad or happy yeah, or not, you know. Why. Tapi, but at the same time, of course, kita semua naturally kita buat persiapan. Persiapan bukan sahaja baju ataupun rumah. Diri sendiri pun kena buat persiapan juga. <laughs> We have to get yes. our skin raya yeah, ready. ready. Gitu. Yeah. Ha, sebab Lisa <laughs> tahu kita semua nak nampak lebih berseri mm-hmm. ataupun lebih macam on gitu. Yeah. Cantik bila kita nak apa ambil gambar nanti supaya dia jadi insta-worthy gambar tu. Yes, and after two years of like, Raya tak raya. raya, raya tak raya ke betul ke raya ke tak ke kan? Yeah, and, and in a way, it's actually like macam me and my girls kan, mm. it's like a tradition already that because kita dah jarang jumpa kan yeah. for the past few years, yeah. so kita hantar like selfies to one another right. and then we put it together yeah, yeah, and like yeah, macam yeah. So crop, crop, crop juga. Walaupun, yes, walaupun berjauhan <laughs> but yeah. we take our selfies so like macam kadang-kadang like you would think that you want to ensure that you've got a good face, face yeah. you know, skin exactly, semua dah elok kan? Ah, betul tak? So dengan skin jadi macam, you know, boleh ambil dekat Instagram, Instagram kan? Yeah. Insta-worthy. <laughs> okay, now that you're here, I have to ask you uh. your tips. Oh. What is your, like macam macam mana what, penjagaan kulit bagi Noriana? Mm-hmm. Okay, so kalau untuk I, bila nak dekat raya je, I jadi macam, okay, we need to focus. <laughs> we need to focus on our skin because, you know, um, I think I have to just like, Uh, giving like a little reminder that our skin is the biggest um, organ of our body. Oh yes, that's sebenarnya. right. Sebenarnya. So, and yeah. yet, we tak focus on our skin. You faham tak? So, macam mm-hmm. it doesn't really make sense. But to me, bila dah de- nak dekat raya ni, I would go back to my normal uh, penjagaan uh, kulit, my mm-hmm. routine. I would go back and I takkan skip lah. Kalau dulu, Sebelum uh, raya ataupun sebelum puasa, kita macam kadang-kadang pakai sunscreen, kadang-kadang tak pakai moisturizer lah, macam tu kan. Tapi mm. bila nak dekat raya, I memang akan stick to my routine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, now is not the time to for you to change or like to oh, explore new skin care. Oh, tak berani. Tak berani. Tak berani. Oh, no, no, no. Masa Ramadan. <laughs> because you never know. Yes. Kalau ada apa-apa side effect, yes. sekali raya macam... Uh, uh, sekali uh. raya, tiba-tiba macam you, you macam down pula sebab kulit tak cantik. Yes. So, stick to your skincare routine. And also, because kita have to go through Ramadan first before uh, before raya, mm-hmm. mestilah kulit kita akan dapat banyak-banyak changes. banyak changes, banyak effects because kita tak dapat minum air, we're fasting and all that. Right, kan? right. So, memang kena stick to your routine. And I try to... Uh, keep that hydration on lah with my skincare. Ha. Moisturize, yeah, moisturize, mask, moisturize. and then uh, just spray. You know, sekarang ni macam-macam spray and whatnot tu. Ah, so all of that Cik, just <laughs> just keep on doing it, sis. Ah, ha, macam tu. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, and then also of course not just that, uh, kita punya uh, pemakanan pun sangat penting. Yeah, uh, try to avoid all this oily type of food, uh, all this caffeine because that would definitely affect your skin lah kan. And then mm, eventually, too much, too yeah, much. too much of that would mm. affect your skin. And eventually, dia come raya time, tiba-tiba alamak lesu, uh-uh. dullness, and then you got I, like I actually flakiness. never realised that. Macam yeah. did you always know about caffeine? Uh, too uh, much of coffee ataupun too much of caffeine tu is actually drying for our um, skin. I don't really drink coffee, but <laughs> okay, all right. but I've seen clients where macam they they constant uh, continuously like drinking coffee like uh, bila sahur coffee oh, right, and then right, buka right. puasa ataupun masa nak sebelum tidur and, and it's coffee or whatever. Onto yeah, the skin. and then it becomes like texture dia jadi lain lah. I see. Yang... Right, 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 right. Never realised that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, clean eating is actually uh, one one good way to go. Kan? Macam, you know, like 
hydrating yourself with lots of water. Yeah. Pemakanan tu, thank yeah. you so much. Lots of uh, fruits, fruits and vegetables. vegetables yeah. You know, um, apa tu clean, uh, healthy fat, uh, healthy types of protein. Yeah. Like kan? fish, macam uh, tu. Betul, betul, betul. betul. Yeah. Hmm. Kita memang dah makan makanan yang bagus sepanjang bulan Ramadan ni. Um, macam actually, one of the things that we do take masa Ramadan, apart from what what uh, Noriana and I were sharing tadi tu, kurma, kurma. tau. Yeah. Kurma is actually sangat-sangat bagus sebab dia mengandungi antioksida yang sangat tinggi dan dia membantu juga untuk kulit kita menjadi lembut dan juga licin. Okay, Noriana, I have a soalan nak tanya. Hmm. Um, I have sensitive skin. Yeah. But how right. about you? Mm-hmm. Do you have any sensitive skin issues? Um, kalau I pakai skincare yang salah, dia Boleh akan jadi. jadi sensitive, dia akan jadi redness, ada irritation and what not. So, okay. so that's why it's very important for me to keep to what's safe. Right. Uh, like for I love instance, that you said safe. Yeah. Mm. Uh, like for instance, like Cetaphil, Cetaphil, like Cetaphil. Cetaphil. Yeah, <laughs> it's gentle on the skin, so hmm. you tahu like you won't get any reaction, you tak kena ada any irritation, any redness, so it won't cause all that. So that's yeah. why that's why I I tend to go for Cetaphil punya mm. gentle skin cleanser. That's something yeah. yang macam no brainer, no brainer, no brainer for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, faham, faham, mm-hmm. faham. Terutamanya pada bulan Ramadan, right. I rasa macam kulit akan jadi super kering. Yeah, ah, yeah, tu yeah. tak best because everything is going to be tight and then ah. macam and then you start to have lines because there's not enough hydration. Right. Uh, so that is oh. also the reason why I choose like uh, Cetaphil Gentle, Gentle Skin, skin Cleanser. cleanser. Yes. yes. <laughs> As my go-to mm. uh, facial cleanser mm. during Ramadan and right. following up throughout the year lah, basically kan. Yes, uh, yes, so yes. I, sebab I tak nak lah ada macam irritation to my kulit mm. and then I tak nak ketegangan uh, bila lepas basuh. So, lepas basuh yes, muka, yes, uh, yes. I tak nak ada ketegangan. Yeah, mm. good thing that macam we have been, thankfully the awareness yang makin tinggi yeah. kan macam you know, uh, ketegangan is actually one of the signs of skin sensitivities. Yes. Like mm-hmm. uh, we know we learned that with, uh, I learned that through uh, my journey with Cetaphil sebenarnya. Oh, right. yeah, uh, yeah. Kalau kalau tak, uh, we thought lah macam, oh ketegangan tu macam, oh okay uh-huh. maybe betul anti-aging tak, tak gitu. Ha, ha, betul-betul. Oh, anti-aging so, quote gitu. Like, Padahal it's actually like... it's, a, uh, it's actually a sign of skin sensitivities but this was my pre uh, Cetaphil days. Mm-hmm. You know, so another thing I guess macam that you were sharing just now like, you know, moisturize, yes, moisturize, yes, moisturize yeah. kan? Macam, you know, that's one mm-hmm. of the important things that yeah. we cannot skip actually. Yeah, so, so jangan mild, skip moisturizer, yeah, mild cleanser, especially during Ramadan lah. Especially ah, during Ramadan. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the mild cleanser in the bag mm-hmm. and also moisturizing. Yeah, okay, yeah. alright, mask moisturizer, mm-hmm. sangat-sangat penting. Well, we have that, the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Which actually, what's great about the Cetaphil, if you buy the Cetaphil moisturizing cream mm. tub, for example, mm. it's not just untuk for muka sahaja. Muka, yeah, for the whole body. For the whole body. Yes. yes. So, okay, bila Noriana mengalami kulit yang bermasalah, mm. if you go through that, um, how, how, okay, when it happens, dah jadi, mm. how do you overcome? Macam mana you mengatasinya? What are, what are your solutions or your remedies? Mm. Uh. Okay, so for me, of course, like I say, I would, uh, I try to avoid all the skincare yang causes irritation or I know that's like not so uh-huh. safe. So okay. I go back to Cetaphil Gentle Skin Oh, Cleanser. I see. So what you do is just go back to basic. Just go back to basic. Because oh. sebenarnya the more things you put on, you tak tahu how all these active ingredients react. Right, uh, So right. if you pile on a lot of things, it will yeah, like, get you cause you irritation. You may anger it. You, you angry. You angry kan your oh, skin. Oh, you angry kan. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, so kita tak nak benda tu. So go back to your basics. Right. Get a gentle cleanser like uh, Cetaphil's and then uh, hmm. do the three steps which is you bersih and then you melembabkan your kulit and also you melindungi kulit. Ah, tu right. lagi satu. Right. Uh, you have to protect your skin from UV rays that uh, will cause the your yeah the sun mm. that will cause your skin to have like more irritation. Mm. They have to make your skin sensitive. Mm. So you have to do dulu masa I kecil kan. I tak I tak focus on that. I thought it was like oh I'm not gonna I'm gonna skip uh, my sunscreen. sunscreen because I want to be tan. Okay. But I thought thought it's not the kind of winner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tak ada kena mengena. It uh-huh. actually causes more harm to your skin, you know. Right. Regardless of you pakai sunscreen ke tak sunscreen ke, you right. nak tan ke tak nak tan. But right? actually, right. you have to pakai uh, sunblock and sunscreen supaya yeah, you protect yourself lah. You protect, don't have like dark spots and what not. I ada tau sekarang. So sekarang I sedar. Oh, si. Si lapan I masa remaja muda dulu. So sekarang I never skip hmm. sunscreen at all. I love that Noriana tadi kongsikan mengenai going back to basics. Yeah. So even though she has like uh, if she goes through whatever macam skin issues ke apa ke, yeah. 
at the end of the day she just goes back to basics yeah. and does not even like attempt to like mencam take okay this uh, something that is alien to the skin mm, yeah. and, and then try try, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, macam no. a corrector for yeah, example yeah. or whatever ke apa ke yeah. no just go back to basics it has to be something that is mild, mild and gentle yeah. Like the Cetaphil and Gentle cream. Skin Cleanser yeah. and the cream, yeah. like the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Yeah. Okay, so okay, all right. So I'm really really happy to actually uh, sembang with Noriana sebab nampak betul betul minat kepada Cetaphil. Thank you so much. <laughs> How is your little baby? How's ah, Kali? Kali is cute. <laughs> I'm enjoying her Shalom. cuteness. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have you ever tried the Cetaphil Baby Range? Yes, I actually oh. use like the lotion because oh. it's it's very very uh, gentle on yes. her skin. Okay. She has she has okay skin, but sometimes I rasa sebab I puasa, so dia pun kurang minum air. Lately, dia nak uh, uh, I rasa uh, uh. Uh, I puasa dia kurang minum air. Nampak dia punya skin macam dry a bit. So I, I of course go back to my trusted Cetaphil uh, baby, baby lotion. Yeah, yes, I think yes. that's what it's called, right? Yeah. The baby lotion. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I like it because it's not greasy. Dia disyorkan. It's actually recommended by pediatricians. Yeah, yeah. It's hypoallergenic, tak ada irritation, and it's actually very very good. I now apply the lotion on all three of my kids. Okay, we like to know rangkaian Cetaphil baby menggabungkan bahan semula jadi, okay, ke dalam formulasinya macam shea butter. So shea butter ni is very moisturizing very melembabkan dia ada chamomile juga and also calendula yang it calms kalau say macam bagi mereka yang ada like that proneness to irritation ke rashes ke apa ke dia are redness yeah. dia menangkan so ni adalah cara yang sangat-sangat bagus untuk penjagaan kulit rutin untuk baby ataupun yang usia muda macam anak-anak saya juga so mereka memang memerlukan how do i say daripada awal-awal lagi you just protect their skin so i think that also helps to educate them juga yes, sampai ke sudah sampai dia dewasa yeah. pun they remember that they always have to remember to ensure that they have healthy skin and also they have to moisturize. Yes, that's right. And Lisa suka dengar juga bila orang bercerita tentang macam mana mereka boleh mencapai kulit yang lebih sihat walaupun berbeza umur. So, kami mahu mendengar kisah anda bagaimana Cetaphil dapat membantu untuk mencapai kulit yang lebih sihat. Macam mana saya kongsikan juga sebelum ni, saya pernah kongsi yang saya pernah ada breakout semasa saya mengandung uh, anak saya yang kedua. Kemudian bila saya guna Cetaphil, it cleared up. So, I've been a Cetaphil user for the past Five years. So we want to hear your story. Sempena bulan kesedaran kesihatan kulit Cetaphil. Because we sekarang ni tengah mencari not one, Ooh. not two, tetapi sepuluh duta kulit sihat untuk semua untuk menyertai misi memberi inspirasi kepada semua untuk capai kulit yang lebih sihat. Lagipun hadiah dia bukan biasa-biasa. Yes, yes, yes. Hadiah dia menarik guys. Hadiah dia sangat-sangat menarik. Anda bakal memenangi kredit e-wallet Touch and Go bernilai RM2,000. That's a lot guys. That's a lot. I, I want to win. I want to yeah. be one of the duta. That's a lot. That's RM2,000. That's a yeah. lot that you can do with RM2,000. Ada bekalan satu tahun rangkaian produk Cetaphil pilihan anda. Any from any of any range. Any range. Yep. You've got one year supply. Yeah. I was I was looking at the clients just now so me but I won. <laughs> oh, me. I won. Okay, selain daripada tu dapatkan informasi eksklusif tentang produk dan promosi dan pelancaran baru Cetaphil and also peluang untuk mendapat penampilan khas di laman media sosial Cetaphil. Yeah. Guys, this is I think this is good. It's encouraging people to not only like you know about appearing, not yeah. just becoming a content creator ke apa ke, but you also educate people juga. You know what I mean? So you come into entertainment tapi you also educate juga. Ah. Ah. So macam mana nak menyertainya? Langkah satu, beli produk Cetaphil dari kedai runcit rasmi ataupun store rasmi atas talian online. No minimal uh, uh, spending, tiada perbelanjaan minimum. Langkah yang kedua, kongsi kisah kulit anda dengan produk Cetaphil di Instagram ataupun Facebook menggunakan gambar atau video. We would like to see either picture or video. And then langkah yang ketiga bersama hashtag kulit sihat untuk semua tag Cetaphil Malaysia dan tiga rakan anda dan post. So easy. Senang sahaja. And I really can't wait to listen to your kisah-kisah menarik yang unik daripada keluarga Cetaphil. Okay? Untuk maklumat lanjut, layari completecarewithcetaphil.com That's completecarewithcetaphil.com So okay, tadi Noriana ada cakap <laughs> mengenai rutin penjagaan kulit, mengurangkan kulit kering. So ini bermaksud makeup akan sebenarnya nampak lagi cantik 
kalau kulit kita sihat. Isn't yeah, that right? That is true. Bagi saya mm. kulit yang sihat tu sangat membantu untuk application of the makeup. Mm. Uh, so kulit yang sihat meaning no flakiness, mm. no irritation, mm. tak ada macam wetness. So dia mengenang, menyenangkan kerja saya sebagai makeup artist lah. And you degree. know when kulit tu sihat dan tak sihat yes, when as a makeup artist. Yes, kita tahu whether bersih ke tak. Ah, this mm. is another thing that I would like to point out lah. I rasa macam a lot of people neglect um, the cleaning part of the skin okay the cleaning part because kita pakai makeup kita okay. pakai sunblock sunscreen and what not right. then balik rumah ala dah penatlah ah, tidur terus oh. ha lupa nak clean the the makeup and is the this sunscreen common? Uh, people do sleep with their makeup it is common sis. so i would like to ask everybody to clean your makeup like properly like use the gentle cleanser it's such an amazing product yeah you can just have by your bedside yeah. and then you macam mm. ala nak nak ngantuklah tidurlah ah, clean did you know that you can use that Yes. Clean your makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, of course, you do. Of course, you do. You like that, that's true. Of course, you do, right? <laughs> so, bagi I, kulit yang makeup adalah kulit yang bersih. Mm. Bersih from sunscreen, bersih from uh, makeup, uh, mm. and it helps to. It's like it's like a canvas, lah. It's a better canvas for right. makeup artists. And even you, and not a makeup artist, pun you nak pakai makeup sendiri pun is a better canvas for you. Makeup applies on much more nicer, smoother. Mm. The colors pop even more. Yep, yep, your yep. base, oh. your complexion becomes more clearer. I see. Uh, I see. So I see. It's, it's very penting ni kesihatan kulit and penjagaan kulit sebenarnya. Betul betul betul. betul. Kalau Noriana boleh cadangkan satu produk Cetaphil to your clients, hmm. what would it be? What which one would you hmm. recommend? It's actually a good question because I would recommend all of it. Okay. <laughs> I would recommend like the whole range and and there, there are many ranges yes, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I feel like the base, the foundation of it all, it would definitely be the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. That's like my number one favorite. I would not go anywhere mm. without it macam ada kat rumah satu ada kat dalam kita satu i would go oh. yeah everywhere with it so i really like that kebanyakan orang dia macam terlepas pandang mm. pembersih muka ni tau dia orang macam tak nampak like because they feel like oh it's too gentle ke but ah. actually you need that gentleness to really get back to basic to make sure that your skin is uh, healthy right ah. so right. so i would recommend something like that lah and ada juga yang juru solid uh, yang my friends are my peers mm. yang mencadangkan pembersih muka ni kepada klien dia orang juga so i, I know for a fact that it's like something it's a favorite among right, us right right uh, right yeah uh. I, i like it because it doesn't dia tak menyumbatkan your pori mm. uh, so macam ada juga kalau you you know you layer on you wash pakai makeup wash pakai makeup and then mm. kadang-kadang your pores tend to get clogged mm-hmm. like throughout the day I see. but with uh. this one it just cleanses so. your skin just hydrates at the same time it's ah. not it's not drying oh yeah 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 so But, I, because the cleanser is that it's very hydrating mm-hmm. ah the gentle skin cleanser okay we have to ask a tip like macam okay say it like i'm macam like, okay hey noriana saya nak buat makeup ni <laughs> what is the routine to ensure that your face is like makeup ready You know what I mean? Is that something that that you we must do before like macam makeup? So my client lah, let's say like you you my client yes, lah kan. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So kalau I I can check out okay, make sure your skin is clear. Mm-mm. Your skin is clean of makeup of whatever tak payah semua tu semua. Mm-mm. Just use a cleanser, the gentle skin cleanser would be the best option lah. Because right. they akan dia takkan tegangkan and no irritation. So if I tonyo-tonyo pun, uh. dia tak ada rasa sakit ke apa-apa, you know what I mean? <laughs> so okay. because the skin dah dah ready for me. Right, and, right. Um, okay. So waktu uh, selalunya macam try to clean your face waktu pagi lah. Ah, uh, bangun okay. tidur, clean your face mm-hmm. and then be gentle. I try to say like don't don't be too too ganas because okay. a lot of times uh, people don't realize that the more you tug at your skin is going to cause oh really uh, um like you you anti aging you tak anti sangatlah the aging lagi I see. oh my god uh, thank so you for that so that can tip. jatuh jatuh and then your oh. eye area especially so, so even the way we we cleanse our we face cleanse, yes that's right be gentle be gentle that's oh. right yeah apa guna pakai gentle sikit ah, tapi tapi, oh, tapi gentle, you ganas lagi lagi kat area okay, mata okay, tu okay. Ah, so you right, try right, to be gentle right. and, gentle juga yeah. right, right, right. okay good tip <laughs> and of course moisturize your your skin lah mm. you Yeah, the, your favorite uh, moisturizer or mm. Cetaphil's uh, moisturizing, moisturizer. Cream. moisturizing cream. That's right. Ooh, okay, so that means never start makeup without, without applying moisturizer. Yes, clean a clean face and a hydrated and uh, moisturized skin. Mm, yeah. Kalau tak dia nampak macam maybe kiki. Kiki, yeah. So uh. we don't want that. I try, I try to to betul betul 
lumurkan <laughs> your skin especially because makeup because okay one thing about makeup is that uh, we layer on a lot of things right right it's your skincare and then you put your foundation liquid powder uh, uh, blah 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 so banyak benda tau right. what people don't realize is that if you don't use your moisturizer it's going to suck out your moisture from your skin I see. From your skin, so that's what causes the flakiness, mm. the cakiness. Right. Uh, so, so it, there's a little bit of science behind makeup. It's not I just see. like uh, color uh, and whatnot. Ah, right. uh, There's a little bit of science. So, oh. a well moisturized face akan uh, bagi nampak the complexion much more clearer, right. much more berseri lah basically. Mm. And senang lagi makeup tu nak nak uh, nak lekat ke your your face. And I also, see. of course, sunblock. Okay, okay, like okay. sunblock, do not, do not I ever skip sunblock. <laughs> based on your experience, based really on my jangan. experience, and what I love about a Cetaphil's sunblock is that it does not have like this white cast. Dia macam what is white cast? A uh, white cast ni macam mana? Eh? Bila Tidak pakai, uh, bila pakai, of course orang serata dunia ni kita Cantik. punya tones are different, right? Ada right. yang gelap, ada yang uh, hmm. tan, ada yang macam Rihanna, ada yang macam Cheers, semua semua ni lah, you know, eh? tan, <laughs> fair, semua medium skin tone. Yeah. Uh, and Cetaphil Sunblock actually does not uh, uh, leave that keputihan. Ah, ah, yeah, kadang-kadang yeah, yeah. tu keputihan macam mana? Cakap, eh? Dia macam bila you turn, dia 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 reflect light. Is that is I that what you call it? Okay. Like certain All sunblocks right. does that, but Cetaphil does not do that. So it's safe to apply makeup on top. I see. Ah, wow. They got the flashback. That's the, in the makeup world. It's called flashback. I see. And I see. Sunblock actually causes flashback. Oh, meaning a lot. <laughs> wow. And yeah, with Cetaphil, it doesn't do that. So I would definitely recommend if you are a makeup lover out there, Mm-mm-mm. but you know you're still searching for the perfect sunblock um, to use under makeup. This is the right one. I see. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for that. <laughs> Of okay, course. so cakap pasal sunblock ni. Okay, I'm curious about one thing. Mm-hmm. Ada ada certain foundations that has SPF, yeah. you say, right? Yeah, so okay, right. kiranya kalau if it has SPF already, mm-hmm. can we skip the sunblock? If you ask me, why would you skip sunblock? You're just making like you're just double protecting yourself. Oh, of course, I we see. would we would apply. I would That's apply it. more if you ask me. You know, I I, right, right, I wouldn't right. just trust SPF. Uh, in makeup, in uh, makeup, in makeup uh, right. because sekarang dah macam-macam sis, dah ada macam uh, SPF in foundation, SPF in your eyeshadow, SPF in your blush. No, <laughs> you really, <laughs> really for real though. <laughs> But I would go back to the basic. Of course, I would yeah. want to really cover my bases okay. uh, with a proper sunblock that is, I know, safe. Right. Would not clog my pores. Okay. Uh, is clean mm-hmm. and uh, no flashbacks lah. If you're Taking photos, yeah, if you're photo, doing photography, yeah, yeah. punya tu. Oh, mm. it's so interesting. Yeah. Wow. So okay, the importance of uh, using sunblock even before makeup, yeah. yeah. Actually, I have. I should do this. <laughs> you should do this. Yeah. You, you don't use sunblock I before don't. makeup. <laughs> yeah, I do. You should try it out because this sunblock, I've, I'm actually using it right now. Right. Like, no joke, I'm using it right now, and I feel like. Uh, It it adds on a layer of moisturization juga in a way. I see. Ah, this sunblock, tapi dia macam moisturizekan your skin juga. Oh, thank ah. you for that tip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Wow, Nuriana, it's been oh, awesome. I know. We've come to the end of the discussion. I know. <laughs> tapi okay, before we go, hmm. we have a last thing untuk uh, announce sekarang ni. Hmm. Satafil akan mengadakan raya peraduan beli dan tebus sehingga 31 hmm. Mei 2022. So, jika, uh, so that means anda mungkin berpeluang untuk menangi dan hadiah-hadiah dia adalah Tebus koleksi premium mangkuk ceramic raya. Hadiah utama juga kredit e-wallet touch and go bernilai RM800. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Dan cara menyertainya, langkah satu, beli produk Cetaphil bernilai RM80 dan ke atas. Dan langkah kedua, hantar risin anda ke WhatsApp 010-2986-863. That is 010-2986-863. So easy, just beli je produk Cetaphil tu, buy your favorite. Dan anda berpeluang untuk menangi hadiah menarik sebelum raya. Jadi jangan lupa untuk saya tai untuk maklumat lanjut anda boleh layari completecarewithcetaphil.com that is completecarewithcetaphil.com that's exactly what cetaphil gives you you know yeah, complete care, care. okay <laughs> oh kita dah sampai pun hujung rancangan but we we hope that you guys uh, actually enjoyed the show harapnya apa yang dikongsikan oleh Nariana with such gem sharing a lot of takeaways Harapnya bermanfaat bagi anda semua. Jangan lupa untuk meluangkan masa bersama saya dan juga Sadafil sebelum raya. Dengan ini, kita akhiri rancangan Sembang Raya kita. Kami ingin mengucapkan Selamat Hari Raya. Maaf Zahir dan Batin. Bye.